Hugh Jackman is officially back on Broadway, but this time he's leaving his tap shoes at home. This fall, the Tony winner is headlining the spine-tingling new drama, The River, by Jez Butterworth. We're here at the production's New York City rehearsal space to find out more. The River, tell me about this play. What is this about in a nutshell? Well, it's about 90 minutes long. It's got three people, uh, two women and a man, and it's, um, it, it takes place in a cabin late at night. It concerns fly fishing and the affairs of the human heart. They're trying to catch fish. They're trying to catch each other. The course of the play follows one night in their relationship, but as events unfold, it becomes quite clear that the things aren't straightforward and things aren't exactly what they seem. I'm so excited for the audience to see this play because I know no one's going to know what's coming up. The play has many twists and turns, but it is a play filled with goosebumps. I, I guarantee you will have goosebumps watching this play. Why did you envision Hugh Jackman for this role? I was thinking about, with the playwright, Jess Butterworth, who would be the kind of archetypal, primal man, but yet someone who has a poetic sensibility, someone who has tenderness, someone who you care for. Who is that? It's Hugh Jackman. And that guy has such a radiance and such a kind of soulful specialness, yet he is so masculine. What is it like getting uh, seduced by him on stage? Oh, it's really difficult. It's an awful job. And to be honest, I'm thinking of quitting. No, he, um, he's amazing and he works so hard and is so wonderful at putting you at ease very quickly. First time I ever met him, you know, you're laughing and joking with him in the first five minutes. I've got to tell you, I have to bring my A game every day. Like, in my head, these girls are so good. Laura was in the original production. They did a production in England for about three weeks. She was in that. Kush is an extraordinary act. Extraordinary. Both of them are luminous, actually. What kind of a ride am I in for when I come to see the river? What kind of a night is this? It's a very quiet, intense night. It's not, um, you know, Hugh isn't doing his usual kind of uh, singing and dancing. And um, it's just... Uh, I would say that it's for the audience to just really experience rather than to, to try and solve. It is a kind of beautiful play. I don't know how he's done this, but depending on how you're feeling at the time will change your opinion of the play. It really is, like water itself, very reflective play. This is no small claim, but I'll make it anyway. It'll be one of those things that you certainly can't take your eyes off. You're going to want to know where it's going next. You're going to be intrigued and hopefully, ultimately, you know, you're, you're going to be stirred and haunted.